Hey, what's up everyone? So welcome back to another video and um, yesterday or uh, the day before uh, Microsoft released a new build for Windows Insider and this build it's supposed to be like the big redstone build but for now it's not that big because it's in early uh, stages like it's very beta and uh, the build is um, point, uh, 14, 295. Uh, also, actually, I updated to this build uh, from the build um, 14th uh, to 991, and I mean the differences between those these two builds it's not uh, that big, but from the this build from this redstone build and the previous 10586.164, uh, there's actually some differences. And actually, I'm gonna say on this review, I'm gonna show uh, the things that I found and not like other reviewers. Um, I'm gonna show what I found, um, what is maybe good improvements and what is bad improvements, because there is some bad improvements, not improvements, improvements, but some bad changes on this um, build. And I'm gonna say that if you are in the build uh, 10586.164, which is the official build, then don't um, don't update yet to this build and I'm gonna show you why. So first of all, um, as you can see on, when you go in, into the... into the call app, uh, here at the app, let's try to focus, here app, as you can see, it should, it should be like different color, like this gray, and now it's all black. I mean, I don't know who the fuck give this idea to Microsoft to change this one. I mean, the gray one was was okay on here on the app because it's too much dark already. Like here, a, a bit gray. It should be gray also. It was gray here also, but they changed with this build. And I don't know who give this idea, but this is not like something um, major. Um, also, one one change I saw in the store in the storage when you go in the, your device. And you go in temporary files. Um, now you have these arrangements, and you, you can uh, like um, choose what you want to delete. Uh, before it was like a telemetry; it was remove files like here, and temporary files was up also remove files. But you couldn't choose. It, you you could just um, like uh, delete a part, both apart, and also one good improvement that I saw and I, I will get to the bad parts but one good improvement that I saw for example it's the um, the RAM management which is finally um, improved so for example when you I was in, in eBay for example uh, let's go in, in buying I bought some stuff and when I go to desktop to my desktop go to some other app etc let's go to Outlook for example and when you go back when I go back I mean the app was like uh, it could it couldn't like uh, memorize where in which page I was and it was going to my home all the time when I, when I was coming from another app to eBay it was always coming to this main page and now even if I open this one and if I go again to Outlook as you can see these transitions already they, they are smooth if I go again the the menu stays open before it was never stay open it was always coming back to home screen and with any other for example with uh, with store when you updated for some app or for example i will show you right now is my first time opening uh, the store after i reset the phone uh, come on let's go when you are in downloads and updates as you can see i have some updates and when you update Oh, maybe you have uh, an update. We'll see what which update we have for my for uh, phone. And when you go again for um, you go into your home screen, you go. Let's go in eBay. Uh, and now when you go back to store, you couldn't uh, come back to this uh, download and updates. It was always going to the to to home, which was annoying. You, I mean, you are downloading and you are were always going to home. Which is, uh, I mean, these improvements, they are good because the RAM management is improved and I like that. Now you can, uh, I don't even close the applications anymore, I just let it there because, uh, I mean, you can have like two, four, 
six, eight, like eight application maximum opened, and uh, when you open more and more, they they close the older ones. So I don't even bother to close them. Let's go again. Uh, Outlook, and as you can see, the transitions they are fast. Uh, but this, this are these are the good parts. I will come to the bad parts. And as you can see, I updated, and um, the gray part here come back. So okay, I take my words words back because the gray part come back. So I guess it was a, a like a bug. But as you can see, um, without the update, it was dark, and now it's gray back. Okay, that's good. Now let's go to the bad parts, which are the. Uh, some applications doesn't start on this one and for example I found the uh, um, MS power user which was WM power user before it doesn't open on this build before it was opening it doesn't open on this one um, and this uh, OK which is like Facebook but Russian Facebook it also keeps loading 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 it, but it doesn't open it was opening before this is only the two apps that I found that they don't open uh, and one also good improvement, um, for example, let me put the music so I don't get copyright strike. See you again, for example, from... Uh, let's play music. And always when you, for example, you can't change the music here, when you change a swap music, it was always like flickering, like... Blah, blah, blah. And now now it's it's changing the, the music correctly. Uh, this good improvement let's say good improvement as you can see I don't even close them let's try again go to store as you can see I'm again in download and updates so it it keeps the RAM management perfectly um, okay let's now go in uh, the bad parts that I saw and that's why you shouldn't like update for now because this is like too early uh, the build one was uh, these two apps doesn't open and for example, you might have some other apps that the, that also might not open. If you have any open any app that doesn't open, let me know in the comments. Also, when you, for example, when you go uh, watch streaming videos. Also, this happens on my tube application. Let's watch something, Counter Strike, <coughs> Copenhagen Games. And when you go full screen, and for example, w when I want to to get this. As you can see, blah, 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 blah. it's fucked up. Now I need to go back. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know why this, hap this happens. Come on. Okay, let's go back. Okay, now the, the application kind of crashed. But this one happens also for uh, for my tube. Come on, application. Maybe this is not like the build fault. Maybe it's the application fault. But I mean, before it was working and now doesn't doesn't work. And for example, in my tube, TubeCast, it works perfectly, but my tube, it's the same problem. Let's show a uh, cool loser. Uh, so, so, let's start. And when you go in full screen, come on. And if I try to, to like take the, the notification bar, it happens the same. I'll try to take the notification bar. Okay, now it doesn't happen, but uh, yesterday it was happening. Okay, now doesn't happen. Good. On my tube it was happening. Okay, now this doesn't happen. Um, but it was happening before. Let's try to go in uh, H stream again. Uh, because yesterday uh, late night I was testing some different apps and I got this issue in my tube also. Now in my tube it seems that it's working. Um, maybe it's only uh, H stream that uh, it, it's the fault. And I have also this um, screen protector. It doesn't kind of work fine, and I have to like doesn't recognize the, t the touch very good. So if I try to take my bar out, like notification bar, it happens this. And this this one was happening with uh, with my tube, with my tube application. Um, now you didn't see it didn't uh, like crash with TubeCast. It works perfectly, but with my tube, it was happening this problem. With H stream, it's happening this problem. Um, also, one improvement. I mean, the camera. The camera got updated from from the store. Uh, the camera doesn't crash anymore because before what was crashing. So until you restart your phone, uh, the camera was coming back. Uh, the battery. The battery is not not that great. 
because I maybe uh, also found that um, the first time when you install a new update or a new build, the battery is not great until you like um, recharge your phone and then like the battery feels like okay this build it's okay I will be okay with this build. It's something strange because last night I was like 40 something percent. And I went to bed and when I woke up in the morning I had like 5%. This never happened with previous builds, but now I have like uh, 2 hours, I was I had like 50% and I have... I charge my phone, um, I take my phone from charge at 12 o'clock and I had like 50%, I didn't charge, charge fully. And now it gone 3%, so I guess the battery come back to normal, but last, 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 last night it wasn't good. So that's why there's some like minimum bugs that they are kind of annoying. So that's why I don't recommend this build to install. And also maps uh, also updated after I installed this build. I got an update from the store uh, and y you can see 3D cities. Rem remember maps? Uh, it has it had like previously this hamburger menu. Now it went uh, all here on the bottom. You can see 3D cities. Let's for example uh, go here in Berlin. Uh, let's try to put like this and then aerial mode this will be like 3d yeah 3d and where is that uh, I don't live in Berlin so uh, I don't know exactly but there is like a oh here here so I can show you correctly the 3d uh, as you can see you can you pass like 3D. I mean, it's not perfect. It's not like very good graphics, but I mean, it's 3D. You can see the the city. It, it's nice. These maps are maybe it's from here maps. I don't really know. Uh, but it got updated and it's uh, it's nice. You can go here settings. All the settings now are here under this menu. Uh, you can choose maps. Uh, I have these maps downloaded from here maps, so I guess. I guess not. Actually, Microsoft uses here maps. So Germany, I downloaded from here maps, and they work here on uh, on maps from uh, Microsoft. And also, actually, this uh, um, maps improvement they are quite good. The map also uh, it when you when you zoom, it's pretty it's pretty fast. Doesn't kind of lag too so like too much like it was before. But uh, I mean, yeah, it, if it was only the maps, but there's some minor bugs that they are they are annoying. I can't start this. Uh, okay, it's like Adna Klasnik. It's from. It's like a Russian Facebook. I don't use it much, but I got a report and I installed to to see. Uh, and also, MS Power User doesn't start. Any other apps, they start. Okay, I mean, I don't have any problems. They actually, uh, I like how this build manages the RAM. The RAM is pretty, uh, pretty good managed on this build. I like it. this. Should how should be um, when you start messaging. It's also pretty fast. And also when you see this loading, now if I'll go, it will not show this loading. Let's go in eBay. Uh, when you see this loading, this loading also got like a bit uh, bigger. Let's close and try to open again. This uh, got a bit bigger because before it was like very very small this not this loading okay never mind it was very small now it's a bit bigger maybe like a bit improved but okay good that the phone application got like fixed here because I didn't like it was too dark and when you scroll up you see them the contacts like stop here so it was dumb to have this one also dark because the contacts stop here so here should be another color but yeah also the uh, feedback feedback uh, where is the feedback feedback hub uh, I'm not sure if this uh, it's improved from the last build but how I didn't make a video on the last build I will uh, show you now um, come on come on uh, they also got uh, like updated the hub up and now you can see your profile here uh, let's uh, it's a bit slow the, the feedback app but you can see your profile your achievements uh, how much feedback you give as you can see I give 18 18 uh, Windows feedback provided, 78 upvotes on your feedback, um, then you go your feedback, announcements, etc, etc, etc. So yeah, this is the build guys. Um, if you want to, 
to test it, to try it by yourself, yeah, do it. But if you want it to use like a daily daily driver, uh, I will not recommend it for now because how it's in like it should be like the big update. For now, it's not that big and um, it's in early stages. It's very beta, and um, as you can see, uh, as you saw, uh, the A stream doesn't like uh, run correctly. My took it wasn't working last night. Now it, it's working. But some apps doesn't work, some uh, that's not that great, but at least the RAM management, now it's working fine. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and let me know in the comments if you tested this um, build and if you have any other apps that doesn't start or if this like edge stream, if for you it's working or if it's not working and so on. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.